Art. When you think of art, you probably think of guys like Vincent Van Gogh, Pablo Picasso, Leonardo, Michelangelo, Raphael, and Donatello. No, not the Ninja Turtles. Now, these famous artists have done a bunch of famous paintings that we actually learn about in school because they're actually really talented. Even Andy Warhol had some pretty cool pictures I learned about. But no, we're not talking about art today. We're talking about modern art. What is modern art, you ask? I'm really disappointed to have to tell you because some of this stuff is definitely not art. Breathtaking. Awe-inspired. None of those words are being used to describe this banana duct taped to a wall. An artist named Maurizio Catellan, who's from Italy, decided that he would make an art piece where he slaps a banana to a wall and then duct tapes it there. Right? Because that's art. No, it's not art. That's not art. You just slapped a banana to a wall. And while you think you could just slap any old banana to a wall and try to sell it for money, well, you can't because you're not an artist, okay? So just don't try it. Only true artists like Maurizio Catellan can do such a thing and make money off of it. There's nothing special about this banana. It's not gold-plated. There's not something really fancy about it. It's a banana and duct tape on a wall. So here we go. How much do you think the banana sold for? Do you think it sold for $500? Do you think it sold for $50,000? Or do you think this banana sold for $120,000? All right, did you make your pick? Well, it's painful for me to tell you that it's unfortunately C. <laughs> this banana sold for $120,000, and I have no clue how that makes any sense. And that is the whole reason why I'm making this video. Something has to be done about this. So to discover this guy's true genius. I'm going to try to tape something to my wall to see if it's actually as difficult as it looks. Alright everyone, I found my work of art. I have an egg. I'm gonna tape this egg to the wall to see if it's actually as hard as the artist has made it look. Alright, I have my tape and I have my egg. Now this is the moment of truth. I know you guys are very nervous. I don't know if I'll be able to do this correctly, but we're gonna try. I'm gonna tape this to this door. Ready? One, two, three. actually harder than I thought it would be to tape an egg to a wall. I feel like an artist. You now will have to start referring to me as Artist Ryan. You can do anything, and once you're established, you can get away with it. Oh my goodness, this girl just described why this guy did this in the first place. Because he's already established and he can get away with it. But it really is confusing for me to see artists that are already established and already have followings of people who would buy an actual artwork from them deciding to tape a banana to a wall. These are some of the same art lovers whose conversation swirled around his 2017 gold golden toilet. I'm starting to think this artist isn't actually an artist and more so just makes like golden toilets and tapes things to walls. Banana on a, on a wall, you can make a lot, a lot of bananas. Work. This guy just gave Maurizio his new art idea. Next time he's gonna have 20 bananas taped to a wall. But if this modern art hasn't convinced you, let's check out some other amazing modern art exhibits. This work of art is a little bit more cool than taping a banana to a wall, but at the same time, it's just a bunch of buckets full of sand that fell over and then that's the art exhibit. That's the whole thing. There it is. It looks almost as though he removes a piece of tape on the bottom bucket, which then releases some sand. And over time, the sand will eventually leave the bucket, causing all the buckets to fall over. Now, apparently these buckets are supposed to represent the societal classes. What they mean exactly, I do not know. And I am way too lazy to look it up. All I saw was a bunch of buckets of sand falling to the side and then someone standing there with his arms up. Up, like he just wrote a symphony. I know, the buckets fell, am I right? I don't even know how I did it. I can't wait to be rich because physics works. I know you guys might have thought it was impossible, but I found even more dumb pieces of modern art. Owen here has to point out anything by Carl Andre, and what he says here is it's just steel plates laid on the floor by museum staff, random order, just instructed to buy the plates and make a square with them. This is what he did when he wasn't killing his wife by throwing her out of a window in New York City. Man, that escalated quickly. Quickly. So Carl Andre literally just went on Amazon or something and purchased a bunch of steel plates. And then he told the museum staff, not even himself, he told them to do it. Just put it in a square, guys, in random order. And that's it. But apparently a fun little side fact that he murdered and threw his wife out of a window in New York City. Honestly, when you think about that, it makes this one a little bit creepy to look at because it's just kind of gray and ominous. No, no, it's actually just steel blocks in a square. But as you can see here, this modern art is kind of located right in front of the actual art, making it look really dumb and out of place. And I'm really not sure how this takes any skill. You could just buy a bunch of pizzas from Domino's and then stack all the boxes up on top of each other. If these weren't enough for you, how about a person who is slapping some butter? The exhibit is called, wait for it, the sound of butter. <laughs> you 
If you're looking for a deeper meaning, you're not gonna find it from me. It's just a girl slapping butter with a chain. It appears they have the thing that's hitting the butter strapped up to a sound amplifier so that you can really hear what it sounds like when you slap butter. Maybe it just sounds like when you slap literally anything and it just makes a boom noise because that's what happens when you slap something. If I walked into an art museum and I saw a lady on her knees slapping the crap out of some butter, I'm probably gonna ask for a refund and leave. As we've already established in this video, that's not art. I could take a vat of butter and start slapping it. I could hook it up to a sound system. In honor of the sound of butter, I present to you the sound of cheese. It's the same thing as when you slap the butter, except I didn't amplify the sound when I slapped the cheese. Also, that cheese was very good, by the way. What I really need is for this guy who's amplifying the butter sound to turn into an EDM DJ and start getting some butter amplified music. Let's go, baby. Our final work of art today is the one that sold for the most amount of money, but is yet one of the easiest paintings I've ever seen to paint in my entire life. It is a blue picture with a white line through the middle that sold for millions and millions of dollars. As a person who understands how hard it is to make money in this world, and how everything is becoming so much more expensive that it's almost becoming impossible to live. When I find out that somebody made a blue painting with a white line through the middle and made millions of dollars on it, that kind of pisses me off. I could paint this, you could paint this, every single person could paint this, but because this person painted this, they got like $20 million or something? I don't know, let's check it out. A blue canvas with a white stripe sold for more than $43 million last night. It's an important piece of modern art sold at a Sotheby's auction in New York City by Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen. Never mind, I was completely wrong. It didn't just sell for 20 million, it sold for 43 million dollars. I could literally paint you this for 50 bucks, give me 50 dollars. Arnett Newman painted One Meant Six in 1953. It's part of a series of paintings with a similar design. I just have to say, this is <laughs> yes. one of those paintings yes. where you say, I could do that. <laughs> my mind just doesn't understand where these artists' brains go when they think of these things. And my mind also doesn't really resonate with the people who actually enjoy these works of who actually think these are really profound works of art that are amazing and just absolutely revolutionary. There's nothing revolutionary about a blue painting with a line through the middle or a banana tape to a wall. And there never will be to me. But I don't know, maybe I don't appreciate good art when I see it. What do you guys think? Do you think all these art pieces are stupid? This has been my first dive into the world of wacky art. If you liked this video, maybe I'll make more like this in the future. Let me know in the comments some of the stupidest and worst art pieces you've ever seen so that we can talk about them. And thank you so much if you're still here for sticking around around to this point. I'm Ryan Askew, reminding you to stay slightly askew because being normal is boring. And I will see you in the next video. Uh, bye bye